Okay, today we're going to have a look at a shoot-in grinder. This is a Swiss-made cylindrical grinder. Uh, this is a model 400, HTG 400. Uh, the grinding capacity between centers is about uh, 28 inches or 400 millimeter, 24, millim uh, 24 inches, excuse me, uh, 400 millimeter. Grinding wheel is a 12-inch diameter wheel with a 5-inch bore. Uh, we have a over the wheel uh, swing down uh, ID spindle bracket. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start this up. This machine is currently wired for four, uh, excuse me, 220 volts, and um, the hydraulic unit is is mounted inside the base of the machine. We have a coolant system with it. So we're going to go ahead and start up the hydraulics and start the grinding wheel. It's pretty quiet. Uh, the tailstock here is in very nice shape. The quill is virgin, it's never been hit by the grinding wheel before. Uh, it's pretty rare. Headstock. This lever here controls the infeed of the slide. The turning on of the work drive. And the plunge feed. It's also an automatic spark out where it reverses. Now your table has a manual operation as well as a fine feed. If I'm going to be under power, I push this in to, to disengage this, shut my plunge feed off, and come in here and start my table. With the center knob here, you can slow the feed down. So each time we feed here, you see that we're, we're feeding on the, our infeed. It can be set with this selector knob here to increment on the left side or the right side or both sides or not at all. The amount of the increment is controlled by the bottom knob here. As you rotate this, and this uh, indicator moves towards you to indicate a larger increment. There is a clutch on the hand wheel to disengage the clutch. Now my slide uh, will go back, but my infeed in has stayed at the same position. So if I wanted to uh, check my part and then go back in, I could do that. The headstock is variable speed. As we rotate this knurled knob on top, we get different speeds on our spindle. So the spindle and the automatic infeed and the, the rapid retraction and approach of the slide is all done with this one lever. This headstock can be made live or dead by switching a simple uh, a knob in the back of the unit here. Uh, there's a mounted hand wheel so you can rotate your chuck or your workpiece. It's kind of convenient. There's a table mounted uh, dressing device. There's also a, uh, a balancing arbor with this, a, a wheel, a tool to extract the grinding wheel. And um, well, that's about it. And here you have your hydraulic unit. Electrics are all on the back of the machine. And there you have it. That's a shootin'. TS is silent. Shootin'.